ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Let's Play L.A. Noir with Justifiable. Um, let's see, I'm uh, recording another one of these. Kind of in a bad mood, I thought it might cheer me up a little bit. Maybe I can let some anger out. A slip of the tongue! I could use one of those right about now. Not gonna lie. Let's see what they got for us today. B-Cop says he located a green Kaiser Fraser from the hot sheet. Address is 6 West 2nd Street. Get over there and see what you can find out. Go on. Sorry to inconvenience you. You should be sorry, you fucking prick. I had plans. I'm going to take my boy fishing. Let's go, Bukowski, before I punch this dude right in the fucking face. I know, right? Ma pays the rent on her back. Stop talking, let's go, Bukowski. Shit. I'm going the wrong way. Oh. There we go. I saw an exit sign, so. Alright. You know the way. You can drive. Get in there, Bukowski. Get your drive on. What are you doing? Fucking hey, you always gotta stop to talk to people and shit. Let's just fucking go. Calling her the doll, you know. Wonder what Veronica Lake makes of that one. You hear whether they're making any progress? Well, Captain Donnelly seems to think they have it all wrapped up. Brown and Green are sweating this manly character. Wrapped up like a condom. That's good. I'm sure they'll get over it. People always do. Then again, people say they never do, but you get over it. Eventually. This music sounds pretty ominous right now. I might shit my pants, ladies and gentlemen. 6 West 2nd Street, 12.15 p.m. All right, let's go question this whore. That's the car call. Just pulling out of the drive. Get it. Oh shit, there he is. Let's go. Looks like I'm driving. Remember, we need him healthy enough to answer questions. So shoot him in the head with a gun. Got it. 12:47, Detective Phelps, requesting immediate backup. Come on. I want to stop this guy before Well, you'll you'll see. Maybe you won't. I don't know. I'm a much better driver than the first time I played this. I could just catch up to him. Enough games, folks. Take this guy out. I mean, games. I'm bashing his sh shit. Look out, Mister! Uh, don't we have like other units that do this? I did. Oh, you had me fooled there for a second. There you go. All right, all right. Maybe that was a couple miles get out. Why do you get on that side? Yeah, I got that achievement I was talking about. Uh, you hit me, I swear to God, I will arrest you too. Why did you run from us? That wasn't bad. I'd probably run too. Oh yeah, shit. I bought the car and I've got the paperwork to prove it. Oh really? Oh oh maybe you do. Hmm. We'll have some questions for the people at Coons Automotive. Yeah, we will. Alright, Cliff, I got some questions for you, maybe. Yeah. So uh tell me about this. This car from Coons Automotive Company. Yeah, that's right. Coons? Raccoons come out of the back porch. Mom just chased them off with a broom. He looks like an honest engine. From the same place. Oh, another piece of paper. If we like anything, it's paper with clues on it. Forgery. It's top notch. This will need to be traced. Yeah, it will. We'll trace that motherfucker. Next question. What's uh, the motive for the flight? Record, Mr. Harrison? No. Nothing like that. Yeah? 
How sure are you about that? You don't look too sure to me. You're lucky I don't have any evidence to hit you in the face with. I didn't steal the car. I ran because because I've got some wacky backy in the glove compartment. What? How much? Bust him. Bust him. We'll let it slide. Send his ass to jail. Oh, never mind. We're gonna let it slide. Let's see. Who did you Let's hear about with? this. The owner, Richard Coombs. Okay, I guess so. He made out the bill of sale personally. Of course he did. He kept a facsimile for his records. Check with him. All right. All right. We're going to get to the bottom of this, Harrison. Until we do, you're going, going downtown. downtown. You've got to be kidding me. I'm getting arrested for buying a goddamn car. Very yeah, that's right. Bit, Harrison, you'll be out soon. Until then, if I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut. Bag his possession of evidence. Have him arraigned for grand theft. And give me that doobie. That's in his car. We need to get to Coombs Auto and check out Harrison's story. Catch and arrest Cliff Harrison before he's stopped. You drive. You get over there. You are much better driving than I am. Get in there, slide over. You fucking slow bastard. Let me get in, Jesus. Whoa! Watch out for that shit. Some of the most convincing people you Fucking boom, Kowski. There you go, I'll swerve a little bit. Riding that dude's ass. Listen to this music. I love old music like this. Oh, it stopped. God damn it. It's not fair. I was just listening to it, trying to enjoy it. But LA fucking noir has got to cut it off on me. Thanks, game. Already ruining an already ruined day. I hate you. I'm just kidding. I didn't mean that. I'm just being dramatic and I, I love you. Coombs Automotive Company, 3.30 p.m. I made a delivery of 94 to 64 to 7 cars. As low as four fifty down and $69 a month. Hmm. Not another step. I have got a Buick Century sedan that would be absolutely perfect for you. Why are you car dealer types the same? Detective trying to sell me a car when I'm trying to question you. Richard Coombs, at your service. You looking to trade in a black and white boy? Yeah. Well, uh, some people would say that my cars are a steal. That's a joke. Son. Book them. Book them. It's a joke, son. Don't you get it? Five horn, leg horn, wannabe. I don't mind. Shoot him right in the fucking face. Just shoot him. Oh, come on. Here it is. Got the original pink slip there too. All right, let's see it. Let's read this, baby. Gene Archer. Gene Archer. Hmm. I guess he was getting a visit. Huh. Marquee Printing Company. Alright, let's check this uh, little piece of paper out. Huh. Clifford Harrison. Oh. Alright, so he bought it. Legit. That don't mean nothing. Doesn't mean a goddamn thing. Let's continue my questioning. We have a couple of questions. All right, fellas, shoot. You heard him, Bukowski. Shoot him in the face. Can you tell us how you came to buy the car? The girl just wandered in right off the street. Yeah. Okay. Nothing unusual about the car. It's not really my usual type of vehicle. The price was certainly right, though. Yeah. Nice girl, but about as sharp as a bag of wet mice. Did you pay with check or cash? The fuck does that mean? That's a horrible simile. This game is full of horrible similes. What name? I made it out to Gene Archer on the Bank of Arcadia. Okay. Can you describe this Gene Archer? Brunette, maybe 25, 26? 
little on the plump side, but not bone ugly. No? Let's hear more. What was your impression of her? It's kind of harried and harassed. In a hmm. hurry to go somewhere, but no place to go. You get to know the type. Hmm. Do you know anything about the company that prints these pink slips? Nope. Should I? It isn't exactly my business. Okay. Yeah, you probably don't know shit. You seem like the retarded type. Okay. Let's uh let's what the payment what exactly details. Did you hand over the Close of play on Friday. Hmm. And why are you looking like you'd fucking just look at him. See, hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Should I wear the red lipstick or the pink lipstick tonight? Yeah, you uh why didn't you pay cash? You knew the car was dirty. Yeah. I had an inkling. When people are in a hurry for money, always pay by check, son. Gives you a couple days to back out. Oh, yeah. This was all above board. Yes. Of course it was. Yeah. There he goes again, that smirk on his face. He's like, I had a fart, but I'm holding it in. I don't, I don't believe you. Did this look legitimate to you, Coombs? Did it? I'm huh? Huh? Bond, not bearer bonds. In my business, you don't look a gift horse in the mouth. You look it in the ass. High and mighty with me if you want my help. Thanks for your help, Mr. Combs. Yeah. We need to continue the investigation. Hope you sort out your problem with Mr. Harrison. Go easy on him, son. We're going to go up in rank? Yeah. Too low. Fastballs fly over his head. Let me shoot this guy. Please. <laughs> you have a pleasant day, Mr. Combs. Shoot him. Means nothing to me. I'm sure there'll be another car salesman to take his place. All right, let's call this shit in. Run an APB on D's notes. Where am I going? Oh, here we are. Hey, Ma. Happy Mother's Day. Um. Oh, it's not Mother's Day. All right. Well, bye. <laughs> What does APB stand for? I should know this. I don't know. Oh. Well, let's go in there and bust his chops. Yeah, who are you talking to? Because there's nobody else here. Unless you'd like talking to me in the third person. Let's, let's go downtown. Jesus, truck, you loud motherfucker. Oh, it's a bus. Loud. You gonna get in there or what? The hell. You can drive. Get in there. Jeez, Bukowski, why do you gotta bug out and fuck everything up? Hurry up. Come on. Move it. Move it. Move it. <laughs> or that selling cars turns you into an asset. You've got it in for everyone tonight. I've always got it in for car sales. Doesn't matter what they do. Look out, and fucking pedestrian. Maybe the more annoying they are, the quicker you sign on the dotted line. Get the hell out of it. <laughs> you tell him, Phelps. 